before I start once again, I am not a doctor. This is just something that I have noticed in the course of my interacting with other moms and in the course of my content creation journey. And also, let me state that this video is not directed towards the kids that have like a speaking impairment or speech delays. No, that's a, a, a different case altogether that has to be looked at by a professional. But if you have like a fairly regular child that should be speaking and is not speaking well, here are some of the mistakes I think that you are making. Gotten some DMs from some moms asking me oh hi sandra your boy is very expressive he knows a lot of words and they go ahead to ask me what multivitamin are you giving him <laughs> you guys actually give multivitamin more credit than it deserves because i don't know why you would think that multivitamin is what helps a child to learn how to speak or helps a child to express themselves yes multivitamins are good in their own right but people are giving it too much credit you don't talk to your child enough and that's because it I'm only assuming. I feel like you think he's a child. He cannot understand what I'm saying. So, I mean, I might as well just, you know, keep to myself and not talk to them. You are forgetting that you are raising this child to exist in your world, in our world. So, you need to speak to them. Converse with your children. Like, have full-blown conversations with them. Use words that you will use on a regular day. Have conversations with your children. And I'm telling you, once you start having conversations with your children, you will see that they now pick interest in speaking with you, thereby helping them expand their vocabulary. Because as they are, you are talking, they are talking, but they are learning more words. Let me tell you, children know more than they say. They know way more than they say. That's why some days you just see that your child just blots out a word and you're like, uh -uh, when did we learn this one? Children know more than they say. So that is why we as parents, we need to encourage them to speak especially in this early age so don't think that your child is too small to understand what you're saying don't think that your child is too little to hold a conversation just have the conversation with them whether or not you understand what they are saying pretend that you understand what they are saying and you see how interested they will be in that conversation the second mistake that i think that you are making is that you are speaking gibberish to your children by gibberish now i mean you want to say daddy has come home you say daddy i come home like you're not talking speak why are you speaking gibberish to your children and i think again is because you think oh they are just kids if i speak gibberish they won't understand no speak to them in our own language the language that every other person speaks because again like i said in the beginning you are training them to exist in our world gibberish doesn't work in our world stop speaking gibberish to your children stop saying that, that uh, i want to go and buy ice cream no say it the way that it's meant to be said that way you are encouraging your child and you're teaching your child exactly what they should be saying the third thing that I, the third mistake i think you are making is that if your child mispronounces a word you will laugh instead of correcting i'm not saying don't laugh if your child mispronounces a word you can laugh of course it's funny but correct don't follow them to mispronounce that word let's say for instance my son he calls ice cream a cream I, when I when I want to talk about ice cream, I say, do you want to get ice cream? I don't say, do you want to get a cream? No. I say, like, I know I don't mispronounce words with him. So when he when he pronounces a word wrongly, I continue to correct him. No, this is how you should pronounce this word. And that way, he is picking it up and he's learning. Another thing I think can help you is to put educational shows for your kids. Um, we don't watch Coco Melon. And here is why, because Coco Melon are mainly nursery rhymes. And for a child to be able to sing or understand what they are saying in nursery rhymes, they would have first known how to talk. So instead of Coco Melon, we watch Miss Rachel, we watch Circle Time with, with Miss Monica. There are a lot of educational shows that teaches children how to talk. Your priority right now for your one, two, three year old should be how to talk and how to make sentences you can put coco melon in between but don't make that the most show that they like don't make that the their regular show put shows where that encourages you know talking conversations you will really really see the difference in your children those rhymes are good no they are great i don't have a problem with them but your if your child does not know how to speak those would, that would just be music to their ears you know they cannot understand they cannot sing along so they need educational shows you can drop the educational show that your baby watches in the comment section i'm sure it's going to help other moms so here are a few tips that i have that i think will help you to raise an expressive child or a child that knows a lot of words yes another thing too that's not very popular here in nigeria but 
if you can read to your children i am telling you like 100 percent. if you can read to them don't think that oh the words they are writing in these things are are too big are too bogus for for my child to understand you'll be surprised that you, as you are reading your child is assimilating you are reading your child is assimilating and they'll just blot out the word one day and be like uh -uh, when did we learn this one so yeah read to your children personally i've not been a fan of reading but lately since we picked a bedtime 8 p.m i try to read to my son no matter how chaotic it is you know because we didn't start it from the beginning so it is very chaotic and easy and um, difficult to adapt to now but i read we read even if it's one page we read i read it over and over and over again so that these words are you know they are they are registering in his in his mind and his subconscious so multivitamins are good but multivitamins is not going to it's not what is going to make your child learn how to speak or be expressive if you do not talk to your child your child is not going to talk back so yeah that is that thank you guys for watching and if you haven't already follow this page for more content like this motherhood content i'm also a creator on youtube i'm a monetized paid creator on youtube that's why i've been I'm emphasizing on it so please go and support me there like my stuff you know so that i can get paid i'm not yet paid here on tiktok so yeah that's that thank you guys for watching and bye